So at last check here in Oklahoma, there have been seven deaths uh, related to the flu. More than 130 people have been hospitalized. Now compare that to around this time last year. There were already 10 reported deaths, 400 hospitalizations. So we're looking into what exactly has changed this season. And here with us now is Amanda Shoemate. She's an epidemiologist with the Oklahoma State Department of Health's Acute Disease Service. That is a mouthful there. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining yes, us this morning. Thanks for having we me. We do appreciate it. So what is behind the change in these numbers. Can, can you explain that to so, us? So unfortunately, the flu is just very unpredictable mm -hmm. uh, season to season. We always hope for a very mild season. Last year, we just weren't um, that lucky. Um, but every year, you know, we, we hope to have mild season. Um, and this year, we're just lucky that it's staying like that. And hopefully it continues uh, to stay fairly mild. And you know, the, the least amount of hospitalizations is that end us is our is our goal every year. Yeah, nobody wants this to get any no, worse. The no, way it is definitely now is, yeah. not. <laughs> uh, talk about the, the flu season. How, wh how far does it stretch? What months are we talking about? So here? we typically see a uh, flu activity increase in usually October. Um, sometimes it starts a little early. Um, last year we saw it start a little early, same as this year, um, kind of in late September. Um, we saw it tr start to, you know, climb up. Um, and it typically lasts um, sometimes even into May. And wow. the increase, like the peak of uh, uh, flu activity, we typically see that anywhere from December to February. Okay, each year. so we are technically in the peak of flu season now. Correct. Yeah, in, in the peak time, um, you know, we don't know, you know, exactly when it's going to peak, but we're in those months where it's possible that, you know, we could see our peak and start to decline. Okay. Looking at things now, are you expecting it to get worse? I mean, we saw those numbers are down. Are you anticipating it getting worse? Yeah, we actually in the last um, couple of weeks, um, like I said, we had an early start. In the last couple of weeks, actually, we've seen um, the activity decline a little bit. Um, so it's around, you know, average times for this, average levels for this time of year. Okay. Um, what strain of the flu are we seeing this year? Because it, does it differ from yes, year to year? Yes, it, it differs from year to year. Um, last year, we saw um, the influenza A, the seasonal H3 strain. Um, this year, we're actually seeing um, predominantly the flu A H1 strain, which is similar to the strain we saw in the 2009 pa pandemic year. So um, that's kind of what we're seeing. It's, it's obviously subject to change. And, and typically with most flu seasons, we see um, an increase in flu B kind of towards the end of the season. How bad was 2009? You mentioned the pandemic. How bad was 2009? Yeah, yeah 2009 was um, kind of similar to last year as far as levels. Um, you know, it was a lot of hospitalizations, a lot of deaths. Um, and last year was kind of the first year we saw something to that magnitude. Okay, and, since you're, saying, 2009. and you're saying the strain we're seeing this year is similar to 2009. Right, right, but, but 2009, you know, we didn't have any immunity towards that right. strain, and now the H1 is one that's always, the H1 strain is always one that's included in the flu vaccine, regardless of whether you get the trivalent or the quadrivalent, the H1 is always gonna be in there. Okay. And luckily, you know, the information coming out of CDC suggests that we have a good match this year, um, we don't have the exact effectiveness that's usually not available till about January or February. Um, but what they're seeing is the strains that are circulating are similar to the ones in the vaccine. So that's very promising. That, that is good news. Uh, we have a question from a viewer here, Deborah. Uh, we put out a call for questions on Facebook. She asked, how effective is this year's vaccine? So again, you know, that's not something the numbers don't come out till typically January or February, but it is promising that we're seeing those similar strains circulating as the ones in the vaccine. Okay. And then we have another question from a viewer, Michelle. She's asking, is it too late to get a flu shot? A lot of people have hesitated. They yes, haven't gone it out. is never too late to get a flu vaccine. And, um, you know, like I said, flu can peak anywhere from December to February. Um, once you get your vaccine, it just takes two weeks for your body to develop immunity. Um, and especially going into the holiday season, you know, you're going to be allowing a lot more people, family and friends. Um, so getting your flu shot, if you haven't already, is really the best way um, to prevent illness and prevent, you know, sharing that illness with your family and friends. Mm -hmm. Do you have any information on the number of Oklahomans that have gotten flu shots so far this season? Do you Unfortunately, keep yeah, it's not it's not a, um, a measure that we are able to track. Um, we actually are uh, offering the flu vaccine free at all of our county health departments um, this year, and we still have plenty of vaccine available. So um, while I don't have those numbers, mm -hmm. you know, everybody get out there. If you haven't gotten your flu vaccine, it's available and we highly suggest you to get it. Anecdotally though, though, when you go out in public, do you hear people saying, okay, I need to get my flu shot, I need to get this done, or are people yeah. kind of hesitating when it comes to that? Um, you know, anecdotally, you know, we, we I, I, for my friends at least, because I'm always encouraging them to get flu vaccine, <laughs> right. um, they do a pretty good job of, of doing that. But, you know, we're never going to, you know, silence our mes message. It's always going to be out there. And so we at least reach, you know, maybe one more person um, that hasn't made the decision. And, and hopefully this information will encourage them to go get it. Yeah, hopefully so. It's an important thing.